Right, say something. Um, I'm gay and I'm proud. <laughs> okay, so it's that time of week again, day again, whatever. Um, so it's usually against my religion to eat carbs during the week, but it's summer, it's hot, and what screams summer other than um, s'mores by the outside fire if you're camping? I don't camp. Obviously. So I'm making frozen s'mores. I'm morally flexible. I'm gonna break my rule of no carbs during the week. So today, we're gonna make frozen s'mores. Ready, set. Look at that. I realize that a lot of people DM us and we don't end up putting the recipe in the post or whatever, so we're gonna have to start doing that. But I also kind of call it out as it is. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna mix your fun little marshmallow mixture. It's gonna be a whole tub of Cool Whip, a cup of your <laughs> Jet Puff marshmallow mixture, and eight ounces of cream cheese. You can hand mix it if you like, or if you're lazy like me, you put it in your little KitchenAid, you know, whatever they call these things. And my friend Jason and I, since he's cheating on me with a woman, we're talking about how he made homemade pasta the other night. And I recently learned you can do that because there's an adapter here, because I'm watching Worst Cooks in America. Somebody might be offered a part on that show and it's not this guy. Um, and they make it on this KitchenAid thing, so I need to get that adapter. KitchenAid. So this is something I always wanted, and it was actually a Christmas gift from, I just can't say who the Christmas was a gift from, someone from the past. And I've missed it. It's been in storage for like two and a half years since Josh and I thought we were gonna move into the house we're building right away, and it didn't happen. We all know that saga. It's boring, it's tired, but I've missed it. I've missed my friend. Eight ounces of cream cheese. Mmm. You can just dip strawberries in this and call it a day. It's so good. I had a dream that I did one of these cooking videos and I had uh, a guest chef. Do you wanna guess who the chef was? No, it's not Mariah Carey. She Oprah. Can't... Yes. Yes. I wish it was Oprah. She has such a great kitchen in Montecito and I feel like we'd be best friends. And she likes bread, I like bread. Come on now. I love Bread. I don't deny myself bread. I have bread every day. Oprah, call me. I'll call. Gail just went out. So Gail was quarantining with her family in Oprah's guest house, right? They all just left on a vacation. I guess who knows where they're going. But that means Oprah's guest house is available for a new quarantiner. Fire your chef. Hire me. I will work for conversations with you. So it's one cup of your Jet Puff Marshmallow. I know someone's gonna give me shade for licking my thumb, but I'm not touching anything else. I'm not cooking with my hands. So that is all I need for the first mixture. Let's get down to biz. Okay. I think that's good enough. Look at that. It looks so good. So you're gonna need two cups of milk and then one packet of chocolate instant pudding, and then you whisk. And let me just tell you something. The whisking part is not fun. Oh yeah. Ooh! Ooh! Bag is um, voluntary. It's up to you, it's your business. Okay, so you take it and you whisk. I think we got the consistency how we need it. Yep. Now, we need a nice little pan that you want to line with parchment paper. FYI, one of the best things I've learned in quarantine, don't quote me, is parchment paper. Are you, are you serious? I tried to learn how to bake a couple years ago, I think right after Josh and I got married, because we got all this cooking stuff, and I was like, yeah, let's bake, and it was around the holidays. And everything said use parchment paper, and I said, what? like a crook, like what a ripoff. Why do you want me to go out and buy something that I've never even heard of? Nothing sticks, nothing sticks. Then you dump your marshmallow mixture in the parchment paper. It's gonna take a minute, but it's still a sticky mixture and you would like to make it as even as possible. Step two, 
Oh, look at that instant pudding. I'm living my dreams right now. Wait, so these are s'mores, but there's no graham crackers. Fool, I'm not finished. <laughs> you, this is the base. Who's gonna freeze them? This is basically what it should look like if you're someone who's like a Martha Stewart, it would look a little cleaner, right? Okay, but you put it in your freezer until it's frozen. So it's probably two hours, but I don't know your business. I don't know how, how great your freezer is. Ooh. Okay, okay. See how easy the parchment paper is? Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So you want, obviously. Okay, okay. So I need another cutting board. Gotta flip it. You have to li line them up. The other graham cracker. So some of the, uh, some of the graham crackers have moved. Thank God for my good eyesight. But that's okay, because here's what you're gonna do. Cut into it, right? So let's just say you go through one of your other graham crackers. That's okay. I'm not charging anybody for these. This is free. Heaven. Hello though. What, what does this not look like? It's a frozen s'more. You see that? You see that? The marshmallow. This is your chocolate Hershey. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Olympia! Where is Olympia? Olympia! I hear footsteps. She's bringing evidence from last night. Were you in the master? Oh, Lord. Wine glasses. So you could put, put the glasses down. You can relax. I could pour you a fresh glass. You could try. Let's see what your reaction is like. So good. Oh, is it good? So good. Oh, see? It has Olympia's approval. And then you could take the rest of these, you wow. could freeze them, and when your friends come over, you'll just say, I made them homemade, eat them. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you tried the recipe, please let me know. Send me a DM. Um, if you enjoyed my shenanigans today, hit the like button, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or else. And uh, still don't know the thing that Jason was talking about, but ring the bell, okay? So until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.